Good evening. The biggest waste of money in the country. That's the unfortunate honor being thrust upon Victoria's new Johnson Street Bridge. It comes from a national taxpayer's watchdog that calls our local decision makers dolts. CTV's Scott Cunningham reports. There are the Grammys, the Oscars. Welcome to the 19th edition of the Teddy Waste Awards. And the slightly lesser known Teddies. And this year, the city of Victoria's troublesome bridge project wins a dubious distinction. The bridge is now three years late. It is now expected to cost Victoria taxpayers a full $42 million more than the original estimate. Each year, the Canadian Taxpayers the Federation the awards the Teddies. These porky trophies given to the top oh, wasters yeah. of taxpayers' dollars. Disappointed that we have to present this to Victoria. Uh, In the municipal category, yes. drum roll please. Victoria's Johnson Street Bridge project wins. It's only 100 meters long. Uh, you know, Usain Bolt, he could run that in nine and a half seconds. Yeah, it's going to cost about $105 million and nearly a decade to bridge it. Last year, the city of Victoria's singing parkade handrails were nominated for a teddy, but they didn't win, making this year all that much more of an honor. And here I am with my tuxedo with the cleaners. Well, congratulations, Lisa. What do you think? Well, it's terrible. But Victoria's mayor, Lisa Help, says the project is a mess, but not one she made. We still insist that it's coming in on, on time and on budget. Dean Fortin was mayor in 2009 when the project was green lit. He declined to comment today. Helps was a councillor and voted against the design. Yeah, it's their right to call us out on this one. Um, going forward, bike lanes, crystal pool, fire hall, we've taken a completely different approach to all those projects, so we won't see this happen again. Budgeted for 63 million, the bill is now well over 100 million. And it's still not done. But at least Big Blue's replacement is getting noticed for something. Right? And Scott Cunningham's tux clearly still at the cleaners. Joining us live from the award-winning bridge with more. The bridge the mayor in the past, you'll remember, referred to as a disaster. Scott, we know the project is way behind. What is the latest timeline? Well, Andrew, cars, bikes, and pedestrians were supposed to be crossing this gap back in 2015. But now, according to the city, this beleaguered bridge project won't be complete until sometime this year. It won't be accepting traffic at all, and we don't know exactly when it will be open. We'll st we're still waiting on a delivery of steel from China. And then full completion, that's stuff like landscaping. It's not expected to be done until sometime next year in 2018. So definitely here at the Blue Bridge and the new Blue Bridge, patience is a virtue, Andrew. Hopefully we can't be nominated twice in a row, Scott. Thanks very much.